we get bones. Big bag of bones from whoever has bones. Sometimes I get short ribs because they're meaty and they're full of, you know, all the good stuff that makes your broth thick. And then I roast them. Well, first I put a little salt, pepper, thyme, and throw them in the oven. Cook them until they're all crispy. Then I pull them out, and if there's big chunks of meat, I eat them. I dip them in salt and eat them. And then I chop up a bunch of carrots, onions, celery, and I saute them in either beef fat or butter or olive oil until the onions start to break down. And then I throw in the bones, cover it all with water, salt. You got to salt. You got to salt the water and pepper and a good bunch of thyme. And then I let it simmer. I bring it up to a simmer, but I don't let it boil. If you let it boil, it causes the stock to get all um, cloudy. And I don't know. I just don't like it. So you let it simmer. And I let it do that for a few hours. Then, while that's happening, I take about 10 pounds of onions, sometimes 20, and I slice them very, very, very thinly on a bias. And then I have my big pans on the stove, and I throw a stick of butter in the pan and let it start to melt and then grab up, you know, a bunch of, I mean, they're big pans, and then throw the onions in, salt, pepper, thyme, and then I just let those cook for about two hours. But you don't walk away. You just stir, and they go from being translucent to then, you know, more melty, and then they break down, and I stir and stir, and I listen to a podcast. Or three. <laughs> and stir, and stir, and stir, and stir, and stir, and stir. And then cut some more onions. And anything I'm sad about, I cry. But mostly I don't. Mostly I just listen to funny podcasts. Um, then, after they are really brown, and, I mean, it just brings out all the sugar, then I set them aside and do more. Um... But what I do before I pull them out is drizzle vermouth. Vermouth adds that extra little something that makes it taste good. So then, what else? Then, to make it, I put the sourdough in the toaster to make toast. And while I do that, I warm up the onions warm up and you know you always got to taste the broth and make sure that it's right and I usually put a glug of cognac in the stock I might put a little glug of Worcestershire in there just because sometimes it needs a little more umami more pepper you know and then onions toast Swiss cheese Gruyere Put it in the oven. That's it. Oh, and it's so good. Oh, oh, I forgot to, I forgot one thing. What? On the bone broth, mm -hmm. I put in chicken wings sometimes. Oh, okay. Chicken wings. I'll throw some chicken wings or maybe chicken legs in with the beef because I found that when I add that to the beef stock, it gives it more of a texture. It, I don't know. I like it. Mm -hmm. So that's the one thing I forgot. That's it. Beautiful. <laughs>